Well, this is a very interesting case of the Talmudic Jewish lobby keeping to their long-standing tradition that goes back nearly 2,000 years of censoring those that they are that are critical of them or that they do, they oppose. Okay, the only difference between now and 2,000 years ago is that instead of trying to murder those that they don't agree with, like the apostles, they just want to set, they want to shut down your speech via legal means. And in this case over in France is just another addition to that. However, it's actually had the opposite effect and ended up sparking a debate on freedom of speech that obviously the Talmudic Jewish lobby wasn't expecting to occur. It says here on France 24, French ban on anti-Semitic comic fu uh, fuels free speech debate, as it should. You know, but the thing with the Talmudic Jewish lobby is that it's only free speech if they agree with it. See, they will invoke free speech when they agree with what's being said, but if they don't agree with it, well, well they want Nazi-style censorship. But it says here in the article, sorry about that, just has something on my face. It says in the article, a decision to ban performance, uh, performances by French comic and convicted anti-Semite Dayu Doni Mabala, I think that's how you say it, has been praised as a victory by the government, while many say the ban undermines free speech. In a legal tug of war that played out on Tuesday, a court in Nantes, Western France, overturned a ban that city's authority, city authorities had, had imposed on a Da Deu Don show due to open doors due to due, sorry, due to open its doors that evening. Hours later, the Council of State, France's highest administrative court, confirmed the city's prohibition of his comedy act. The final decision was greeted with boos and jeers by hundreds of the comedian's fans outside the Zenith Theater in Nantes. More than 5,000 tickets have been sold for the performance, which was to be the second in his planned France-wide tour. See. It's comedy, but you see the Talmudic Jewish lobby, even comedy, if, it, if they don't like it, they want to shut the thing down. It's, it's just the same kind of Nazi-style censorship. It's so ironic. They're basically using Nazi tactics of censoring speech you don't like to what, they, what they've deluded themselves into thinking is fighting Nazism. But hey, the, when you're filled with devils, like the Talmudic Jewish, lo Jewish lobby is, what do I expect? It says in the article, Scorning the Holocaust, uh, Dayudon, I'm probably not saying his name right, 47, is a mixed race son of a Cameroonian immigrant and a French and a French mother, has been convicted seven times for inciting racial hatred or anti-Semitism in shows uh, in which he has scorned the Holocaust and played up anti-Jewish conspiracy theories. Now the thing about that, that whole thing of the racial aspect is that I criticize Judaism as a religion, but the problem is, is that criticism of Judaism is lumped in with like racial anti-Semitism, which is a bunch of garbage, okay? It's a false religion that I criticize because I've been called, I've been called, I've been accused of racism, essentially, for criticizing the religion of Judaism. But continuing on, and you know, just going, just had to just point that out. He also popularized the uh, QN, whatever you say it, the hand gesture, uh, which the French interior minister Manuel, Manuel Valls has called an inverted Nazi salute. Dayu Gon has uh, was convicted at the end of 2013 for using the word Shoianas, a combination of the Hebrew word for, holo for Holocaust and the French word for pineapple. The song containing the word has is seen a derating, uh, sorry, as derating Holocaust survivors and victims. Some fans hoping to see a Thursday show carried pineapples, a French victory. French President Francois Hollande's government was swift to declare the ban a victory for France. France, yeah, the country that's supposedly a champion for free speech censoring speech in, a, in basically this Nazi, style, this Nazi style censorship of speech that's unpopular in supposedly the secular democracy that, it, that is, you know, that, in which free speech is supposedly a pillar of society. You know, the fact that France actually has hate speech laws is just pretty much refutes their, their claim of, of being some kind of pillar of freedom of speech. If, if that really is true, then get rid of your hate speech laws that censor unpopular speech, that go against the, the, the so-called values of the secular republic. See, again, it's just a thing of, of it's only free speech if they agree with it. Bunch of garbage. But uh, it says in the article, in the face of the mechanics of hate, we need firmness and determination and great calm. Val said after the, the Council of State announced its decision, Val declared that France has been made stronger by the decision to keep the guy, to keep the guy basically off the stage and ain't but the combat against the, the nauseating words of his personality continues, he said uh, on I Telly TV station, citizens should not go to these shows. It's called freedom of speech, you know? How would you actually be consistent with the so-called values of a secular republic and not try to censor stuff you don't like? 
Other than that week, he told the cabinet no one should be able to, to use the show for provocation and to uh, promote anti-Semitic ideas. Democracy defeated. Yeah, it kind of is, actually, when you're censoring speech like that in a Nazi type of way. Uh, but critics have described the ban as a... Uh, uh, sorry... I'm not good at reading things on the computer, but essentially they're they're uh, describing it as basically just a fake victory, with many claiming that making a martyr of uh, Dayudon will only strengthen his support and weaken France's precious freedom of expression. The last minute move to ban Dayu I can't say the guy's name properly. His stand-up show was a defeat for France, according to Ens Angie's uh, Tricor of the French Human Rights League. Yeah, exactly. If France is truly built on freedom of speech, then censoring this guy is, is a defeat for France. You know. Because it's it totally goes against the idea of freedom of expression. It's comedy, you know. You know, see, again, like I said, the fact that there even is hate speech laws in France is just it just refutes their claim of trying to be some kind of freedom of speech uh, crusader. Because if that's so, then get rid of your hate speech laws. Don't arrest people for for saying stuff about Judaism or saying stuff about you know the sodomites or whatever else. If you, the fact that they're arresting people for saying stuff like that is just you know, it, it just destroys their whole claim of trying to be a free speech crusader. But again, once again, the, the Talmudic, you know, Judeo-Satanist lobby just doing what they do best, acting like Nazis and censoring those they don't like. And then claiming some kind of victory for a democracy. What a bunch of garbage. But hey, what's to be expected? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.